All right, in this video, we'll see how to calculate the mean, standard deviation, and variance of a sample data using Microsoft Excel. All right, so what you have here uh, is the annual returns of some stock for the last seven year. And we need to calculate what was the mean return. So we are talking about the average of these returns. Then what was the standard deviation? And finally the variance. Now to calculate the mean, we'll be using Excel's average function. To use the function, press the equal sign and then start typing average. Or you can just select it from the drop down menu. And then we need to provide uh, the data set for which we want to calculate the average. In our case, our data set is this returns, right? So to select all of these um, returns, select the first one and then hold down the shift key and then select the last one. It will select all of the returns that is in between this 15% and 9%. Then close the bracket and press enter. And as you can see, the mean or the arithmetic average is 6%. It's that simple. Then the standard deviation. To calculate the standard deviation, we have uh, quite a few functions related to standard deviation. As you'll see, STDEV. Now, all these functions uh, calculate standard deviation. But in most cases, uh, you'll be fine with uh, the first two. Now, uh, the stdv.p, you use this function when you have the uh, whole population's data set. But when you are working with samples, you need to use stdv.s function. Now, in our case, uh, this is just a sample. We, we don't have the um, all-time return history of this stock. We only have for like last seven years. So, we'll be using this function. And again, uh, select the returns, select this cell, and then hold down the shift key, and finally select this cell, close the bracket, and press enter. Similarly, you do the same thing for variance. Just uh, use the variance var.s function. Again, if we were working with uh, the population, we'll be using this one var.p but for sample we'll be using var.s so select this function then select your data set then close the brackets and press enter and that was it and that is also all for this video see you in the next one